Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I was actually looking at uh, posting a different video tonight, but then I had a guy named Matt leave me a nice message and he was inquiring about how to change his drive belt uh, on his uh, Z, I think it was a 930. And I actually had some footage that I've previously shot a few days ago on how to do this and I wasn't quite happy with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just post this video and I'm gonna show you some part numbers um, on that I that's very common whether you have a 915, 920, 930. Uh, but real quick, let's go over how to look up your specific part uh, that you need. So go to deer.com and right up here you'll see a little tab there. Then you go to parts and service, go to parts, commercial mowing. And in, in my experience, commercial mowing section works for everything, whether you have a residential or a gator or whatever. And uh, if you don't know your product identification number, your PIN number, which should be located right next to your engine on the right rear, as if you're sitting on the mower, right rear, there's a tag there. But if let's say you don't know that. Um, so I'm just going to put in here Z930, okay? And you click that, and then it's going to give you the options of like, you know, 930R, A, whatever. So let's say we got the Z930A, and it's going to give you the breakdown of what you need. So for this particular job, we need to go to powertrain right here. And then it's going to kind of give you all the little deals. Now, deer.com is far from perfect. They make a lot of mistakes, but um, you, you'll see, you go to use this thing, but... Uh, this, this is pretty good. Actually, I just accidentally found that bracket. We'll get to that on another, another uh, topic. But anyway, this is the drive belt. And that's the uh, drive belt tensioner arm. And that's the drive belt uh, tensioner pulley. All right. And this is the pulley that is on the crankshaft. That's the drive pulley on the crankshaft. And so as you zoom in here, you'll see... You got parts like that eight, that's the bearings for that tensioner arm. And number five is uh, the pulley. And then you got the belt. So let's look at the, you know, scroll on down. Say we're gonna look for the uh, pulley. Now you notice here it has serial number brakes, all right? So you need to know your pin number. You know, if yours is um, before, the 20,000 and this would be after you know 20,000 so and also give you the um, part number I mean the the price it gives you the part number and also the price and then it also will give you uh, alternative parts that will substitute for that part all right so the rest of this video I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do a lot of voiceover um, over this footage that I shot this is gonna be a very crude video but real quick, let's go over the tools you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a half inch ratchet. I actually use a three eighths ratchet because I just I like using this one when I'm doing the job. But you'll need a half inch. If you do use a three eighths, you'll need to have a half inch adapter right there. But I use this long ratchet. It gives me a lot of leverage. And I use this long extension to reach up in there. Now you want to make sure you're... Uh, I always jack, jack it up, put some stands underneath the frame on each side. Make sure it's nice and secure and safe. And um, also in this video, I have the clutch removed on this particular unit. You don't have to remove the clutch uh, to do this job. And I don't even think you need to really remove that little, it's a belt guide, a little bracket that I'm gonna remove in the video. I just do it sometimes just to make it easier. So I'm gonna show you how to, uh, I'm not gonna really show the, the whole process of me removing the belt. Once you get this off, you can remove the belt. Uh, around the little hydros you just kind of work it around those fans but in this video I'm just going to show you basically how to take that tensioner arm off and replace the pulley um, in the video that I tried to shoot replacing those bearings uh, the camera messed up and didn't record where I was wanting it to record so it's pretty much useless video but when you need to replace those bearings in the tensioner arm uh, it's really easy you just need a punch and I used a, a punch that's kind of curved, I've like purposely curved it. And there's a little bushing in there. So you want to make sure uh, that the, when that when you knock that bearing, those bearings out, that you have that little bushing um, that was actually on there. 
I uh, just lost it on gear.com. But anyway, uh, make sure that that's all lined up and then um, it'll go really easy. It's a pretty easy job. Let's get to the footage. All right, so here we go. I got the clutch removed on this particular unit and I'm gonna remove this little bracket and just, um, and you can see, <clears throat> this ta also takes a 15 millimeter. And I thought this would just give you a good, um, good view of what I'm about to do here. So I just, I usually just kind of slide that out or, you know, pivot that out of the way. I just loosen up the other side. And then I'm gonna take my extension with my long ratchet, nice and good leverage. And uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna crank this tensioner arm. Gonna turn it like so. And what I always do is I take the belt off of that crank pulley first. Now you can still do this with the clutch off. It'll be kind of between the clutch and that crank pulley. And then you're just gonna kind of work and slip that belt you work that tensioner arm back and forth and slip that belt above the pulley all right then you're going to take your 15 millimeter wrench and your impact if you have one take it off and, and remove this bolt you don't have to do this if you're just changing the belt you can just take the belt off at this point slip it all off but I'm going to show you how to take this tensioner arm off. Now, it's got this spring on there. And I usually just leave the spring on connected to the, to the, to the frame where my left hand is. But I take, take it off right there. And there's a little groove in that bolt there that it goes. And you should when you spin this, you shouldn't hear anything. And then also, rotate these in your hand. Those will usually be kind of rough. All right? And I'd recommend replacing those. If you already got this out, go ahead and replace those if they're spinning kind of rough. Because if you don't, it'll let, let that thing move up and down like I just showed. So what I'm gonna do next is show you the part numbers. Like I said, confirm, that's the pulley. And those are the bearings. All right, and like I said, just confirm on deer.com for your particular unit that you're getting the right part number. I just don't trust what I'm using here on this one, but most likely that's what you're gonna need. All right, so I lost the footage of where I, I, I've already put the new pulley on. It also takes a, uh, I believe it takes a 15 millimeter bolt to take that pulley off, but you see this washer right here? Don't lose that washer. It's between the bearing and that frame. So there's a little washer there and I'm going to show you if you do lose this washer you can just use a regular washer but you want to make sure that it's on the inside of that little bearing there you don't want a bigger bigger washer than that so when you go to put this back on I always just put a little tension on that spring make sure it's still connected to the top of that frame and then I put it onto the tensioner arm slip it into that little groove right there and then just kind of pivot and rotate it into position and then get, get your bolt and your washer. And that washer is going to go between the frame and that bearing. So I just put a couple of threads up through the, the, through the frame and put that washer over the bolt. Just a few, just a couple of threads. All right. And then just rotate that tensioner arm up and through there. Now, if you'll make sure that bushing, if you've replaced those bearings in that tensioner arm, just make sure that. Go ahead and slip that bolt through there to line up that bushing. It'll make this part a lot easier. So right here, I'm going to put the uh, nut on. And real quick, I'm going to show you because I decided, I thought I thought for a second this might be the wrong nut, but I, then I realized I want to just confirm it's the same nut that that belt guide uses. It's the exact same nut, same size, everything. They're identical. Like I said, this is kind of a crude video. Not doing a lot of editing tonight, just helping this guy out real quick. I'm probably gonna reshoot this video, but see how they're the same nut, exact same nut that goes on that, uh, that belt guide there. So I'm gonna put that on. 
And when you replace that pulley, it does take a little bit. It has some red Loctite in that bolt. You can just put a little bit more red Loctite on there. And now that, that new pulley's spinning nice and, and quiet. Now, if you've replaced the belt, you know, work it around those hydros first and then feed that belt through this way. And that tensioner pulley gets really close um, even when, when it's all in place, gets really close to that left side hydro pulley. Now the last part, just put it onto the crank pulley. And again, you can do all this with the clutch on. It's, it's just as easy. You can just see it a lot better in this video. And that's it. Then just confirm visual inspection of that spring. Make sure that spring, make sure your belt is on in all the grooves properly because you do not want to crank it up with that belt. You'll ruin the belt. It'll fling off. Just make sure it's on all the pulleys in the grooves. It's a V belt. So that V part of the belt goes in those pulleys. And the back and the flat side goes against that um, uh, tensioner pulley. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll have more videos like this coming soon. Thanks.